Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about using these outlet network or ethernet extenders to extend a network connection using the electrical outlets in your home um, as a way of extending a network. So I just recently moved into an apartment so I don't own it and I can't install wiring of my own but I have a situation where I need to extend the wiring from where the router is to a location where even Wi-Fi won't solve the problem. If you're not familiar with these, what these are is they're a pair that, well, let me take them out of the box and I'll explain more. Okay, so these are called power line adapters. I'm not endorsing this particular brand. There's a lot of different uh, companies that make these. These have actually been around for quite a while. I remember these even during the 90s. So if you're not familiar with them, what they are is they're usually sold as a pair. As you can see, they got like little, you know, 110 outlet connectors. Uh, Zizel, or if I'm saying that right, or yeah, however you say that name, Zizel. They also make different types. They make they make one for European, and I guess they make one for the UK. So you can get them in different in different, you know, for different countries. But so what happens is you take one of these and you plug it into an outlet near where you do have a network connection, like say the router or the switch. And then there's an Ethernet connector on the back, or on the bottom. So, so let's say this plugs into an outlet near the router, and then that takes an ex you take this connector and go into the router, into one of the switch ports on the router. Then at some other location where you don't have a connection, here where you need to have an extended network connection, you plug this into a wall outlet that's that's hopefully on the same what's the word I'm looking for on the same breaker box. I don't know what you call it in other parts of the world, but the that box where all your all your electrical wiring comes together. Uh, if it's in the same, you know, usually in the same house, and you plug that in, and then this becomes an extension. So this then extends the Ethernet network to that location. So I'm going to put these into place and see how well these work. Okay, so now we're in the spot, uh, like it's a, like a utility closet in the apartment, where I've got my my router and my internet connection. So I'm gonna take this little guy, one of them, plug it into this, the outlet. This is actually a plug bar that goes to an outlet in the apartment. Immediately we get a power light. Now there's some other lights here that mean something, but I, I think I'll explain those when I plug the second one in. So then I'm gonna take an ethernet cord and plug into one of the switch ports on the router and then take the other one and plug that into the uh, ethernet port on the, uh, the adapter. And then what I'll be doing is I'll go to another location in the apartment where I will plug in the second one and I'll hook up a laptop to it and we'll see what we get. Okay, so now we're at the second outlet. So this would be the spot where I don't have internet connectivity and I'm trying to extend it to there. So I've got this little guy right here. I'll plug into the outlet and I just want you guys to know I haven't done this yet. This is my first time doing it so if it doesn't work um, you know this is just me doing it live for the first time so there's a possibility maybe I'm doing something wrong. I read the instructions though it said all you have to do is just plug them in. So what I'm waiting for here is I think I waited for that light right there. That so there's three lights here. There's there's power. I think the second one might represent the connectivity, and then the third one is the uh, is the network. I think, but it might be waiting for me to plug in the Ethernet cord. So I'm gonna plug in the Ethernet cord here. Okay, now over here on my laptop, I've got a command prompt open, and I'm gonna run uh, ping t to the Google DNS, which is eight 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 eight. Ping T just means that you're running ping like infinite, like in a loop. And right now, I don't know if you can see the screen, but it's saying, you know, cannot, cannot reach destination server, which is what I would expect it to do. So let's plug in the network cable and see what that does. So my laptop is set up for DHCP. So if they're, if they got a network connection, it should just grab an IP address here in a minute. And then down on the bottom of the screen, I know it's kind of tough for you to see on the video, but down in the bottom of my screen, I had that little network connector. Oh, wow, it, it went away. Oh, look here, I get replies back. Pretty cool. Oh, now I got some network blinky activity over there. 
Awesome. So that's it, really. It's really just as simple as uh, as they said it would be. Just plugging one into an outlet near a place where you do have your network connection, like a switch or your router, and then plugging the other end into an outlet somewhere where you need the connection, and then just extending the cable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to plug it into like a like an eight port switch, so that I can have the uh, network connections I need in this room. So pretty cool. Hope that helps you out. If you're interested in getting one of these, I'll leave the link uh, for it in the description, but I'm not endorsing this product per se. There's lots of other uh, makers that make the same type of device, and they make some even with like two Ethernet ports on them. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck.